Hey guys, a uh, quick little sturdy post here about fixing obstacles and maintaining obstacles. So this is a 6x4 box that we built back when the gym was just moving into this space and we always assumed that it would sit upright on the ground so we didn't build a bottom for it. Sure enough, a couple years later we changed the gym, it started moving around and this means because it doesn't have framing here, not good. So we're going to fix it, we're going to put a bottom on it. So first what I want to do is put new studs here in the bottom running flush from this plate to this plate on their edge so that when I put a new sheet of ply on here I can drill in and it'll be supported all the way. So what I'm going to do, I've taken this board and I've cut it down to exactly this size. Took a couple passes to make sure I got it right and now I'm just going to knock it right into place. Checking to see that the top of the board here is flush with these existing boards. To fasten this in place, I have a couple of choices. What I'm gonna do, I've cut these little gussets. These are just little pieces of scrap three-quarter ply. I'm gonna put glue on one side, and I'm gonna take them, and I'm gonna put them right in here so they overlap. Half on this new board, and half on this existing stud. And then I'm just gonna take two-inch deck screws, four in each side. I'm going to repeat that three more times. One up here, one down here, and two on the other side with the other board. Okay, now that I've measured the plywood, I'm just going to cut it out. Rather than use the table saw, I'm just going to cut it here on the ground with a worm drive. And I'm flipping it over to the back so that I can knock on these nails to hold the board in place while I run the saw across it. No one else in the room is wearing Ear Pro. Yeah. So now that the sheet is measured and cut, you can see the two problems we're going to have with this repair. The first problem is that the original sheeting was left proud on either side. Leading, leaving this dip in the middle where the plywood sticks up. The second problem is that at the bottom of the box, the frame is not completely square. You can see it's hanging over on this side, and on the other side, it's sticking out. Luckily, we can fix both of these things. Start over again? Can't hear you. Uh, I'm talking to YouTube. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so rather than pull all the plywood off the sides, cut it down and start over again? What we're going to do is just put some little wooden shims here in the middle to bring the height up. So rather than it dipping down in the middle, it'll be the same height all across. So this box itself is not completely square, and that happens a lot with the frames when you put them together. Um, the good news is when you're putting a, piece, a big piece of sheeting on the side, you can just push the frame, make it square, and then screw it in and it'll hold. Okay, so I just put a bunch of screws in here and now this is basically done. Um, the main thing that this fixed, other than putting one more side onto the box, was that we got rid of the tendency for the box to wiggle and shear back and forth. So basically this just makes the box a lot stronger and uh, people jump and land right on this edge we don't run the risk of the box shearing so far that the frame itself breaks down. So I hope that video helped and uh, be sure to join the discussion on the Sturdy Group.